Hey everybody, welcome back to the construction of the Green Bay Western Lines. I got a little bit of work that we did this week. Didn't get ahead of a lot, but let's get into it. So I'm starting construction on the Helix here, as you guys can see. I've already assembled a portion of it, but uh, I decided to go with this style. What I found is there's a lot less waste when it comes time for constructing this. So I am building a 30 inch Helix. So I just wanted to lay it out before uh, I build the bench work. I, I need to rip up a bunch of one by twos from the plywood, but at least you can see how this, how this goes. And I'll explain a little bit better how I came about to get this done. So I've rip, ripped a bunch of these um, pieces up and uh, I got the dimensions. So I'll, I'll show you guys that dimensions, but I just re ripped a bunch of these and then uh, put the 45 on it. I ripped them. I ripped a bunch of plywood at eight inch strips. Um, why I wanted to do the helix this way, because of the less um, less waste that we're going to have when it comes time to building it. And I just I just thought it looked pretty neat. And, and uh, yeah, that's what I wanted to do. So um, I'll, like I said, I'll give you guys the dimensions on what I chose. I'm choosing a 30 inch helix because it is hidden, and this is hidden staging. Um, I'm going to build another hidden uh, return loop, but uh, we'll get into it on, on the actual construction of it. Okay guys, so here you have uh, the dimensions to build the 30 inch helix. So I've left myself enough room that if I needed to add the second track, I can. Um, being on this end of the staging yard, I can use this as a drill track for the, for the yard development. So yeah, I've uh, ripped my plywood into eight inch strips and at 31.3 inches, which is rounded off to 31 and a quarter inches and then cutting 45 degrees on each end. And this will give us uh, the dimensions we need to make a 30 inch helix. So I ripped up all my pieces of eight inch. I've now cut them all at 45s. And what I've done is I've actually just cut in a groove so that I can pit, fit a piece of masonite. And the masonite inside is what I use to join it as a biscuit. So I've marked the pinwheel, and then at each spot where I need to overlap to make the end, I've done that little groove to fit the piece of masonite so that once I glue it and lock it, all pieces are exactly the same. If you actually look at a, just the piece of plywood, I use just a piece of three quarter inch poplar plywood and what I've done is I've removed the center, the width of the center core. That gives me the enough room that I can fit in a piece of uh, masonite to make the biscuit join. So I need to build one more full rotation. And on the bottom connection of this, I've ripped the same width and the same dimensions. I ripped a piece of masonite so that the entire bottom is double lapped all the way around to create the support. And then once I have my second layer built, I'm gonna leave this to connect it. I need to be able to see that I'll be able to. So I'm gonna have this, I'm gonna build the second one that I need to make the full, I need to do a double rotation of the helix. So I'm gonna build and mimic everything that I have here. I'll have it connected to this piece and then I'm gonna glue and mount that and then that way it's gonna give me my, my helix for my 30 inch. And then I will set dead center. And then I can scribe my line with my little radius tool that I built to show my exact 30 that I'm gonna need. So once I get this helix built, I'm getting pretty excited that I'm gonna be soon laying track. So I wanted to know what is gonna be the best base that I'm gonna lay this on. So. I bought some cork at our uh, local home building center, Home Depot, and uh, this is just the cork that they sell to put a uh, backing on a picture or a frame. So am I going to lay it on this cork, cut this into strips and um, contact cement it to the actual staging? Or so uh, a few years ago, I bought a snowmobile trailer, a new snowmobile trailer, and I was going to uh, deck the floor inside the trailer with a just a coating of rubber to keep from slipping Which I never got around to doing we just landed up putting in track runners for the snowmobile 
to go in and out of the trailer. So I bought all this material and now I have an abundance of it. Um, it's, it's just a thick rubber. It's, it's the same thickness as the cork. So I'm, I think I'm going to do an experiment and try using this. Um, it's a little bit denser. I've, uh, actually had some of it on my workbench itself and it, it's, it's just got a denser texture. So I think that the sound deadening will be a little bit better with this. So stay with me and we'll do a test on the cork and we'll do a test on the rubber and I'll see which one works out better for um, my layout and what's gonna work for me. So maybe it might be something that you guys are all interested in. So make sure you um, you keep in tune with uh, the construction and uh, I'm looking forward to sharing my progress with you guys. So catch me next week and uh, we'll continue on. I'm gonna rip up some sheets of uh, plywood for more lumber. I'm gonna continue on the Helix construction and uh, I can present you guys with that.